Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles of GMS, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhakadash. Bars and restaurants are allowed to reopen if they agree to snitch on customers. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because this is another step towards prophecy where basically, you know, the, the, the government is trying to turn everyone against each other, which, you know, we're absolutely for that. Uh, let me, uh, so let's go back to Google because we're getting ready to enter into a time where people is going to really start being cold hearted toward one another. I'm pretty sure it's in a book of Luke, the 21st chapter, but I'm gonna just type it in. There's a scripture on that. Okay, you can, I believe you can also find it in Luke the 21st chapter as well. Luke, Luke the 21st chapter. Uh, this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And even as I speak, the love of many is waxing cold. <laughs> you know, you got people who's wearing masks, looking at people funny who don't got a mask on. Look, looking at them like 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 they're 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 stupid. When when really, if you're an Israelite and you're wearing a mask, I mean, which I, I'm not saying you know, because in in some states wearing a mask is is mandatory. But if it's not mandatory in your state to wear a mask, and you're wearing one anyway. Then this shows how much, I mean, I'm talking to the Israelites, which are the so-called blacks, Latinos, native Indians. If it's not mandatory in your state to wear a mask and you're wearing one anyway, that shows the level of faith you have toward the heavenly father and the son. Okay. And really you're the fool because if you're a, a Israelite, which will be the so-called blacks, Latinos, and native Indians, you're supposed to have faith in the heavenly father. You're supposed to believe in him. You're supposed to believe that 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 he can protect you from 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 the viruses and diseases. But no, your your faith is in a goddamn mask and putting on gloves. Like are our people's bugged out. And but 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 you want to look down on those who don't got a mask on. Okay. You know now now in some cases you know. You might see some brothers, you know, in this truth, wearing a mask out there on the highways and hedges. But nine times out of 10, the reason why they got a mask on them is because they got to have it on them by law in order for them to be out in the open. Because it's a state law. So, so that's understandable. Okay. But if it's not mandatory to wear a mask when you're out in the open, then why even wear one? You know, I mean, I'm talking to our people, the Israelites. If you are like me, you are looking forward to finally getting out of your house and maybe having a few drinks or a nice dinner. No, not really. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for more shit to close down and for things to get worse. So it says at your local bar or restaurant, but going out to your local bar or restaurant once the lockdown ends comes with a price. And it's going to come with more of a price than you think. Because while this coronavirus got people on the panic, behind the scenes, the U.S. government is passing more laws and more legislations to take away your rights, as well as the so-called freedom you think you have. As well as your privacy, you know? 
They're already installing cameras inside of the houses of people who have the coronavirus to make sure they stay in their homes. How about that? You know? So uh, there's going a lot of things is going to come with a price if this lockdown, which I don't believe the lockdown is going to end. OK, if the lockdown ended, which supposedly the New York state lockdown was supposed to end today, then the, the casino will be open. The, my, I work at the casino. That place ain't open. That place still closed down. OK. And guess what? They're probably going to push the, the they're probably going to extend the lockdown just to keep people on edge. Because if they're going to be pushing out these vaccines with the chip in them, which, which the chip is the mark of the beast, then they're going to have to extend these lockdowns. So uh, this is the year 2020, the year of prophecy. Kwam Yasha Allah is on to the next one. Shalom.